us. The planet is warming dangerously faster than expected. The new United Nations climate change report is being called a code red for humanity. Tonight, we're digging deeper into what this means for the future of our state. Hurricane Matthew is still seared into the minds of anyone who survived it and those who lost everything because of it. Then came Florence. Climatologists agree. While the West Coast will get hotter and drier, the East Coast will see more storms and torrential rainfall that comes with them. Residents in floodplains should be prepared for catastrophic flooding and more frequent nuisance flooding. Uh, but there are potentially more people at risk than we realize. This week's report by the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is 4,000 pages and the most comprehensive to date. Current maps show entire towns and huge swaths of North Carolina counties sitting in the floodplain. The speed at which the planet is changing means those maps could grow to include even more people. So the sea level rise and major storms expected with climate change should really expand our understanding of flood risk to include areas outside of traditional floodplains and, and flood maps. Professor of Atmospheric Sciences, Evan Cuzo. At the state and local level, um, first responders and government agencies, um, as well as all critical utilities and infrastructure, they really ought to be prepared for more severe and more frequent flooding. With 46,000 farms, agriculture is a $93 billion business in North Carolina. Cuzo says the farmers and growers also need to prepare. Which is not what they want to hear. Uh, but this also won't come as a surprise to farmers in our state as unpredictable weather seems to have become the norm. A norm that may be irreversible, and that's going to take the entire world population to slow down. And you know, this mm. certainly means something for insurance rates too. Sure. Insurance companies are going to be looking at this. Uh, you know, homeowners doesn't cover flooding, so folks who might be getting FEMA insurance, it might cost them more down the road as well. All right, Russ. Thank you.